Hey everyone, in this video I will be describing the key elements of epic poetry. Let's get started! An epic poem is a long narrative poem that is written on a grand scale. It often concerns eternal human problems such as the conflict between good and evil. The poem records the courageous deeds of a larger-than-life hero who embodies the cultural values associated with their society. The most famous epic poems include the Iliad, the Odyssey, Gilgamesh, and Beowulf. There are two types of epic poems. Folk epics have been passed down orally by storytellers for generations and have changed over time. Examples of folk epics include Beowulf, the Iliad, and the Odyssey. Literary epics are written works that remain unchanged. Examples include the Aeneid and Paradise Lost. Characteristics of epic poetry include an omniscient narrator or muse, and the story covers a vast setting. The poem is centered around a larger-than-life hero who embarks on a grand quest or journey. Epics usually include divine intervention by the gods, and they are told or written in epic proportion, often in ceremonial style or heightened language. Epic conventions are characteristics used in epic poetry to increase the epic proportion. Major conventions include an invocation or plea that is usually made by a muse or spiritual power. The story begins in media res, which means in the middle of the action, but then flashes back to earlier times. The poems contain epic or Homeric similes. These are long and elaborate comparisons that relate heroic events to simple everyday events. Epithets are also found in epic poetry. These are nicknames repeated by the author. An example is calling Odysseus the raider of cities. Long formal speeches also frequently appear in epic literature. Introducing the epic hero. Epic heroes are admired for their bravery, nobility, and great achievements. Heroes in epic poetry contain many similar characteristics. The epic hero is a larger-than-life person of noble birth who demonstrates his society's cultural values and ideals. These ideals usually include loyalty, courage, strength, wisdom, perseverance, and nobility. He is usually a warrior, or was a warrior, who established his greatness on the battlefield. The hero embarks on a quest or journey to achieve something of great value to himself or to his society. Epic heroes are not supermen, nor do they have magical powers. They are regular humans, or sometimes half-god, who persevere to achieve greatness. The hero overcomes great obstacles throughout his journey, but maintains humanity. He feels typical human emotions, but is able to control them to a great extent. Lastly, the hero lives on after death by achieving a great legacy throughout his journey. They are forever remembered by all who live after him, achieving a type of immortality. Thank you for watching.